Hi, I'm Colin O'Malley with 8DO. I'm going to walk through our latest instrument, the Claire Virtuoso Clarinet. The clarinet is the first release in our Claire Woodwind series. The Claire project is a full woodwind collection. We've sampled virtuoso soloists for all the major orchestral winds, and we'll be releasing new instruments frequently over the next few months. The clarinet builds and refines the concepts we introduced with our adagio strings, which in a nutshell means no static notes. Every note breathes naturally with emotion. The clarinet has two distinct legato performances, one fast and one slow. For this video, I'm going to show you the fast one, but both of them operate identically. On the right side of the interface here, we have three mic positions, close, deca, and wide. Many times I find myself loving the lush ambience of hall recordings, but at the same time, I love the guts and detail of a more focused studio recording. To this point, I haven't really had both of those in one library, and for Claire, we really wanted both. To accomplish this, we used a very unique approach for our close mics. I can make another video about all our engineering, but in summary, they are not traditional mono spot mics, but rather a uniquely isolated stereo pair which are still in phase with the deeper room mics. In this way, you finally have the magic of a hall and a tight studio space in a single library. Here's an example of the close mics by themselves with no reverb. Here are the Deca, again with no reverb. And the wide. Typically, I would favor the close mics and then feather in the wide and deca at a lower level. On the left of the interface, you have dynamics. Dynamics are created by a carefully crafted filter and give you a lot of control. However, we do not crossfade static layers for our legatos. Every single note has natural expression and emotion. The second knob here is volume expression, or CC11. Here we have legato speed. Legato speed alters the sample start of the intervals and also some very fine-tuned envelopes. The intervals and valve clicks become a bit more pronounced as you move the knob to the right. I'll move it all the way to the right for a run and arpeggio type figures. Next we have legato volume which changes the level of the actual interval transitions. I have it set for a very natural level but it's there if you want to tweak. Over here you have a Roman numeral 2 button. The 2 button alters the character of the samples to create a clarinet 2. It's a really powerful way to create diversity in your woodwind section. There really is a very distinct difference between the two. Here it is off. And now on. Here's an example of two clarinets playing faster lines. The lower part will have the clarinet 2 setting applied. In the middle here you have the articulation list. Here's a slower legato example, key switching between a few different articulations. Here we have two vibrato articulations. Vibrato is not the most common thing in the world, particularly in orchestral music for clarinets, but I've always found the, the sound really interesting. It's sort of ethnic, kind of maybe a little bit like a deduc. Anyway, here's what it sounds like.
here's Staccatissimo. And this is Marcato. You can turn off legato manually by mouse clicking or hitting C1 on your MIDI keyboard. In this way, all the articulations become polyphonic. This is great if you want to play supporting chords or just sketch out some harmonic parts. That's our fast legato patch for you. We'll have some other examples and demos very soon. Thank you.